In this video, I'll be testing out some pretty curly girl products and also showing you this CG method routine that I'm using on my hair lately and giving you my first impressions of the product. If you want to know what it's all about and how I feel, continue watching. My name is Sujin Yanga. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And let's get straight into the video. First things first, I'm using this co-wash from As I Am. I use that in the shower. If you would like to have a look at what the details or the ingredients are from any of the products, just go ahead and pause the video and you can see and read exactly what the ingredient list has in them. And the star of this video is these products from Pretty Curly Girl. And yeah, let's get straight into the video so you can see exactly how they react on my hair type. So starting out, I'm using or washing my hair after having it in a little bun for some time. This is what my hair looked like after I just took it out of the scrunchie. And I just went ahead and showered and used the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash in the shower that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And this is what my hair looks like after I showered, washed my hair and did my makeup. <laughs> it was a thing quite dry so I went ahead and soaked my hair with a lot of water and then went in using the gel. I should also mention that this routine that I got was actually from Fix Curls. When I went to them, I think about one or two months ago, they recommended that I use this process and these products when I'm doing my hair. And this is my first time actually doing it myself. In the video and at the ending of it, I'll tell you exactly what I feel. But you can see here, I first put in the aloe vera and then I thought I did the whole back portion, you'll see in a few, and I forgot so I had to take off that product that I had because I was jumping ahead to use a pretty curly girl product and just put that to the side and continue moisturizing first my hair using the aloe vera gel. Another thing that was quite new to me was using a Denman brush. I have a different kind of brush that I use, but it was my first time using it. And here you can see my expression of putting in the Pretty Curly Girl product for the first time. I actually was loving how it smelled. I always get a lot of questions on why or how I get my curls to look so defined and to be very curly. And that is by working the product into each curl that I have and using a lot of water. I don't think you can see it in this clip so much, but I did spray my hair a lot of different times just to make sure that the product is going in on hair that's very, very hydrated. And also again, using a tool if I have to, which in this case was my fingers or the Denman brush. The order in which I use the products mentioned in today's video was first the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash, followed by the Style Icon Aloe Vera Styling Gel, and then I went in with the Pretty Curly Girl Extra Loving Leave-In Conditioner, and lastly I sealed all of that moisture and hydration in by sealing it in with the Pretty Curly Girl Magical Flaxy Gel. And you can see here, I was just like really happy to see how slippery, how hydrating, how beautiful the products from Pretty Curly Girl felt on my hands and also in my hair. One thing I should mention, I find that these products made my hair have a lot of like that white look on the hair itself. I don't know if it's because I had used a lot of products um, or a bit too much, but I'm going to try it again using my kind of normal routine that I have for my hair and see if I like it more. So I will most probably let you know of my final thoughts after using the products again in another video. However, I was a bit skeptical about that. Maybe I used too much product. Also another tip that I have for you is that when you're doing your hair, make sure that you work in sections and not just have all of your hair open and put the product in just like that. That's one of my major tips whenever you're doing your hair. Always, always, always work in sections. And if you can, go even smaller so that product that you're going to use can get distributed straight into all of your curls and all of your coils. Another one as well, don't forget hydration. Our hair needs so much water, at least mine does. So whenever I'm doing it, I always make sure that yeah, this day was kind of special because I did my hair after I did my makeup, so my hair had a lot of time to dry. But making sure to put a lot of water from a spray bottle into my hair to make sure that that product is going on to hair that's very, very hydrated. 
And here you can just see the product. Again, I don't know. Let me know if you've ever used Pretty Curly Girl. But I think maybe I've used just a bit too much product for my first time. That I need to be a bit, like, yeah, lighter handed rather than using so much product. <laughs> And after putting all the products into my hair, this is what my hair looked like. Again, I mentioned I don't know, maybe I used just a bit too much of product, but yeah, you'll see in the ending what the results looked like. Hi beautiful people, I was not going to talk, however, after smelling and using both these Pretty Curly Girl products, I said I had to actually come on and give you my first impression of them because I want you to see exactly how much I love them. I feel like whenever I get products, I always love them. It's not that I get a product and I'm like, oh, I really don't like it. These two you saw me use in my hair, and oh my god, they are amazing. I love them. I love how they smell, I love how they feel. I'm a bit skeptical about the magical flaxseed gel to see if it actually will have strong hold because the magical flaxseed gel from Pretty Curly Girl says it has almond and vitamin E uh, inside of it and it's protein free. And another thing that it says that it is going to do is to have strong hold and to define your curls. I'm a bit skeptical about that because the product feels so light. However, it could be that it actually does have a lot of um, hold after the curls and the hair dries. But as I was saying, these two products from Pretty Curly Girl, I am loving. The smell is so good. I'm just going to smell them both. It has a kind of sweet, a sweet, sour, tropical smell. That's a bit like a fruit or like a candy. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, because I'm... And then this one has it as well, but then a bit more stronger compared to this one. So the one that I'm smelling first was the Extra Love and Leave-In Conditioner. This one has a sweet smell that is also really nice, but the Magical Flaxseed smells a bit stronger than this one. I don't know exactly what's inside of it that makes it smell like that because I'm not so good with all the different products and, or not products, but the ingredients that they have in products. However, I can see that there's something that's kind of says like citral and lemon. So you, it does have that citrusy and tropical smell inside of them. So yeah, I am obsessed with these two products. Now I see why people are so in love with them and a lot of girls and curls have been using them. They are now my favorite for the two of them. They were around 40 euros, including shipping. I find that a bit pricey for natural hair products. And it's also CG approved. In the video, I'll talk a bit about what CG means. And I just wanted to come on here and say that these two new Pretty Curly Girl products I've just tried out, I'm obsessed. They smell so good. They feel really good in your hand. They feel very hydrating. But I'm going to go ahead and go back over to VoiceOver Sue because I'm not going to talk anymore in this video. Okay, bye. <laughs> So because I didn't have anything to do that day and I just was home chilling, this is me the next day. I normally sleep with my hair in a pineapple and this is exactly what I do after I wake up from sleep and I need to refresh my curls. I just go again in with my spray bottle, my handy dandy spray bottle and spray my hair, mist it and work the curls around just to make sure that they fall nice. Try to use an afro pick sometime, but this day I didn't feel like I needed to because I was just running some errands. But this is what my hair looks like with the products after. Let me know what you think of it. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% certain what I think about the products. So I'm going to come back maybe in a vlog or in the next video in a month's time to let you know exactly what my conclusion is about the products. Of course I'm going to use them because I love how they smell and I'm going to try to see if I need to just be a bit less heavy on the amount of products I use. Maybe that might actually help, yeah. But this is my curls. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. If you have given the products a try, let me know. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. And if you haven't already, just go check out this video here. See you in the next one.